right, welcome back to another Chris G review. Today we have a uh, we have a fountain pen today. We have the Picasso fountain pen. All right, check it out, check it out, check it out. As you can see, this is a all metal pen. Every piece of it is metal. There is no plastic at all on this pen, all right? Everything, well, other than the feed. The feed that the ink runs through is plastic. And it shouldn't be. <laughs> it shouldn't be metal. But, uh, yeah, everything else is, is metal on this pen. If we take a look at the body of the pen, it is a silver. And this pen comes in uh, multiple colors. But when I bought the pen, I didn't get any information on what build or model this pen is so I don't I don't know all the specs on that but uh, I know there's different levels different levels to this <laughs> there's multiple uh, pens that come from the Picasso brand and uh, this is I guess kind of the mid range of their pens uh, they're made in China this pen is made in China and it is fairly inexpensive. It's about the same uh, price as a Lamy, uh, a Lamy Safari or a Lamy All Star. It runs about the same price as that, but the build quality, I would say, is a lot better because it's all metal and it's not plastic. So let's take a look at the pen right here on the front. This is the logo for the Picasso brand, or one of the logos. This is like the picture logo, which is obviously Picasso inspired. Get a good look at that. There's another one right, right there on the clip. Really, really cool little accent. The clip is very nice. It's not just like a flat clip. It's got this little groove in it right here. And on the sides, it runs down the length of the clip. Uh, it's a good clip. Pretty strong, but it's not going to pull off your pocket if you put it on your pocket. And here on the back... This is also the Picasso uh, logo written out. And they do a lot of branding on this pen. It's Picasso everywhere. Uh, it's a Chinese brand again. So yeah, the body is like this silver, shimmering silver color. It's got a lot of glitter in it. It's, it shines in the light really nice. I chose to get this color that was also like the black, a black color. I wanted a, uh, the black one actually has a gold tip on it, a, a gold plated nib, but uh, it only came in a medium and I wanted a fine. Well, they only had medium and I wanted the fine tip pin. Uh, the top, it's the same as the body, right? Uh, you know, same color as the body. It's a really nice little accent. Real classic, just a smooth design. Uh, of course, it's silver around the top, silver right there around the bottom. Uh, the the bottom of the cap, you get this band, and then just a plain silver on the bottom. Again, I like flat edge pins like this. It's something I, I like personally. Let's take off the cap. Oop ah, okay. That's what everybody likes to see. On fountain pens, you always like to see the nib, and I really like this nib on this pen. Why? Because it looks like they put a lot of work into the nib. The nib is branded, of course. It's got the Picasso logo on it, and it's got this nice design that goes around the edge of the tip. And then you also have the F right there for fine this is a fine tip pen and again this is a regular fine tip if you saw on the uh, the pilot prayer video it has a different nib on it this is the the button that I was talking about the, the tip of the nib that the prayer doesn't have which is the calligraphy uh, and I hope I'm saying that right CM calligraphy medium but since this is just a regular fine tip you have a bud right there a, a bead or whatever it is I don't know the technical term but you got it on here all right and it makes a very nice line but we'll do some writing with it in, in, a, in a minute again the plastic feed uh, that's the only plastic you're gonna find on this pen 
Is this the feed section? I've never been able to pull the feed out. I tried to do it and it was holding on pretty tight and actually the feed was starting to bend so I didn't want to like pressure it into opening. If it didn't want to open, I just leave it closed. It's all right with me. Okay, the grip is, it's okay. This is probably the, the one thing that I don't like about the pen is this grip section. Just because, I mean, it does have this little, you know, lip right here to keep your fingers from sliding off over the nib. But this whole section is the same metal that's used on the rest of the pen, which makes it really slick. I feel like it's, uh, you know, I, I have the feeling like if it's hot outside and I'm using this pen or if my hand gets warm and it might get a little damp, when I'm writing with it, my fingers are gonna slide around. So that's the only thing that I really don't like about this pen is just this grip section. It just feels like really slippery. We slip off the top, this unscrews, and then you get to the cartridge, which is a very nice size cartridge. Again, uh, Picasso on the cartridge. It's not a cartridge, and I did this in the pilot video. This is called a converter. It's not called a cartridge. This is not a cartridge. It's a cartridge converter, okay? I've already filled up this pen. This pen has a Noodler's uh, black ink, Noodler's bulletproof black in it right now, so I've been using it to do some sketching and watercolor. And uh, I mean, this is an interna uh, international sized converter so you can buy converter replacements for it off the internet as long as it's international size it will fit into this pen and uh, the good thing about this one is that it holds a lot more ink than that the pilot prayer but it's also you know a larger pen screwing that back on and again let's do like a size comparison uh, compared to the Lamy Safari they're pretty much the same size. So the Picasso pen, the body is a little thinner than a Lamy Safari. And also I have the Pilot Prayer right here. As you can see, I kind of like black and silver. Uh, and I like clear, the clear, the demonstrator pens as well. That's kind of been the way I've been going with all of my, with all of my pens so far. So the, uh, the body on the Picasso pen is slimmer than the body of the Pilot, I mean of the uh, Lemmy Safari. And the body size is similar, yeah, similar to the Pilot Prera. Uncap them. Uh, I think this pen writes good posted, which this is posting, if you didn't know. Posted and unposted, it feels good in my hand with it unposted it still fits well and I have not really like fat hands but I have like long fingers and uh, my hand is like this kind of on the larger size I guess you could say so I mean it feels good writing with it when you post it it does kind of make it back heavy but without it, it it writes pretty good all right so yeah so that's that and again compared to the Lamy Safari or All Star, excuse me, in the Pilot Prayer. Uh, yeah, I mean, I I like the the Picasso pen more than I like the Lamy Safari. Uh, and it, I don't really, I don't the grip. When I first got this pen, I kind of it was the first pen that I bought. First, I mean, first. Uh, this Lamy Safari was the first fountain pen that I bought and I got it just because everybody was like oh get the Lamy all-star get it the all-star because it's a good beginner pen and I don't really care for it that much but uh, these two are definitely my favorites and I like uh, I take the Picasso over the Lamy so yeah that's that now let's get into some writing oh yeah uncapped Compared to the Lamy Safari, uh, it does shorten. It does get a little shorter. 
Pilot Parade. I'm just going to take this out because the, well, you need a smaller one to see. But yeah, so uncapped, it's a little smaller and then posted. If you post a Safari, you post all the pins. If you've seen the, uh, if you saw the, the pilot prayer video, then you kind of, you've seen this lineup before. I did it on the other video. But yeah, so lengthwise, again, it comes up shorter. When they're capped, the Lamy and the Lamy and the Picasso are the same length, but posted and uncapped, the, the Picasso pen is shorter than the Lamy. This one's just gonna be shorter than all of them because it's a small pen. All right, let's get to some writing and a little sketching with this pen. Let's get to it. So right here, I'm just gonna speed up the video because uh, I don't wanna have to put y'all through watching me struggle to write cursive because um, I need to practice if I'm gonna be writing cursive. But any more fountain pen videos, y'all ain't gonna have to watch me do that because I'm gonna put it in, uh, I'm just gonna write in regular font. And uh, if I spell cursive wrong, don't beat me up in the comments too bad. Uh, anyway, the pen writes really well. It's, uh, like I said, it's a cheaper pen. The nib is nice. It's not a super wet nib. It's not, uh, it's not going to uh, put out a, a lot of ink, but it's comparable to uh, the Fomprera. And I think it writes better than the Lamy, uh, the Lamy All-Star, personally the lines that it produces are really nice and also the good thing about this pen is, or the nib is that it flexes so as you can see right there you can get thin lines or this is a better one you get thin and thick lines so you can get line variation with this pen and fairly easy you do not have to put your body weight on the pen to get it to you know produce a thicker line just a little pressure and you can get a thicker line some pens that you know you really got to put a lot of weight on it to get a line and if you try to do that just drawing or something like that it's kind of unnatural to put that much weight on the pen uh right here just doing like a, a quick sketch uh of a face with the pen and i mean it writes smooth my biggest gripe again with this pen is the grip uh if you use it for an extended period of time the pen tends to roll in your fingers or at least it does in my fingers when I try to uh, continuously move the pen around the pen starts to rotate and then next thing I know I'm writing with the back of the nib because it has rolled over so that's the biggest downside to this pen but other than that I mean I really enjoy it uh, especially the nib the nib is really nice and if you like the video you know if you have any questions about this pen first of all it's kind of hard to find in the states i know i didn't see it on amazon uh but here in thailand they do sell this pen in in multiple places and if you have any questions about where you can find it i don't know if i can help you on that <laughs> but if you have any questions about the pen i'll be able to help you with that so if you like the video drop a like uh, and if you have any comments, please leave them down below. I'll be happy to, uh, you know, try to answer those. And subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And you'll be able to stay up to date on all the reviews coming from this channel. Thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you again later. Peace.